Alright yo, what's going on my producer friends? It is your boy Q and I'm back again with another episode of Q-Tember. If you guys don't know what Q-Tember is, I'll explain it for you real quick. I'm doing 30 videos in 30 days. I'm uploading every single day for the month of September. If you guys do want to be notified for that and you want to watch all the videos, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down there. And right when you click that, there's going to be a bell right next to it. If you hit that, you'll be notified every single time that I upload. And if you do me a favor while you're down there and hit that like button just because it helps push this video out to more people that actually want to see it. And it'll just help support the channel. And while we're on this promotion streak, if you guys could also go down down to the description hit that instagram link and follow me on instagram just because that's my most used social media and it's a great spot for you guys to stay up to date with what i'm doing in my day-to-day -day life and yeah i try and post some cool pictures and beats and loops and all that stuff in between anyways guys exciting new announcement i actually finally got my new laptop in the mail i got the alienware x15 r1 got a 3070 and the new 11th gen intel processor it's like 1180 50k or something like that i think it has i don't know you could look up the specs i'll have a link down in the description below but uh I, like i said i just got it today i'm literally on a fresh install of windows everything's new right now I basically only have serum and my own drum kit yeah we're gonna be testing out this laptop and if i like it it's on this macbook right here anyways in today's video i'm gonna be uh, pulling up this loop i made a while ago basically what we're gonna be doing today is looking for a loop something that i would see automon and we're just gonna make a beat out of it so let's jump into fl studio and show you how to do it all right guys so as you can see we are in fl studio and what we're gonna do here is hop into my discord server so here's my discord server i always have the link down in the description below but basically, I'm trying to do a lot of like YouTube events where I notify you guys in the Discord and we'll have some kind of like challenge, some kind of event going on that will be featured in the next YouTube video. If you guys want to be a part of that, make sure you join. But anyways, what I'm going to do here is just slide over to the samples section and see if we can find something that I would see Autumn on. All right, so like I said, we're going for something that will sound like Autumn here. So I'm just going to look for something that is pretty synth heavy. This is perfect right here. So shout out Shark. So what I'm gonna do here is just download this. And then we're gonna change the BPM to 134 because that's what Shark said it was. Then this is an MP3. So what we're gonna do is just trim off this little silence section in the beginning. That, then he's got the stems in here too. So that's perfect. So what we're gonna do is just chop this up. And I actually showed you guys this in the last video, but this is what I always do. If the sample has a bass in it, I'm gonna go highlight the bass hit control alt c on my keyboard what this does is consolidate it basically makes it a wave all by itself and what you can do is double click it right click open an audio editor hit this flag button and detect pitch regions and then you know exactly what you have to do for your 808 so we'll, our 808 we're going to follow c sharp f d sharp c c sharp again so that's super cool but basically what we're going to do here is just mess with the pitch i believe because i think i want this to be pitched down a little bit down like 300 cents and then I'm gonna track this out. Then we're just gonna pull up a fruity parametric EQ. We're gonna to go to the third preset and we're just gonna. So I actually ended up bringing it down 600 cents. So we're gonna do the same with the bass. I had to bring this up 600. track this bass out as well and there's a little too much high end in this bass so we're going to pull up a fruity parametric eq as well we're just going to pull out a bunch of that high end and then what i'm going to do here is hit Control alt c again to consolidate the minus six cents that we did so then we can see the tone of the bass again cool so now what i'm going to do is just duplicate this over and loop the part that has no bass right here and we're gonna bring in pattern one into the playlist. Boom, and then I gotta set up the file settings right quick because like I said, I'm on my new laptop and I have one of my drum kits. What we're gonna do is just grab this folder right here in the browser. It has all my kits in it. Cool, and we're just gonna go to my full circle drum kit, which is available at quintababa.com. Yeah, if you guys wanna support the channel in any way, this is definitely the best way to do it. But let's grab a clap real quick, I think. Drag that in, and then we're gonna use my default MIDI pattern. We're gonna delete this sampler because it's in the way and what we're gonna do here is route this over to like mixer track 7 we're gonna throw a little bit of some reverb on here we use the default fruity reverb we're gonna bring this low cut up area separation bring the way
but uh, we're just gonna pull the high end out of the clap. It sounds like this, and just we're gonna make it pretty quiet. Yeah, I like that a lot actually. And then also, what I'm gonna do here is go to the melody, and I'm gonna add a Valhalla Vintage Verb. I'm gonna pull the mix down hella on this. I'm gonna change the color to now. All right, let's get a hi hat going. And we're gonna route this to Mixer Track uh, 8 right here, and we're gonna add an EQ to this as well. And we're gonna EQ out a lot of that low end, it's on the high end as well. And then what I'm gonna do here is make this quieter, and we're gonna go to this miscellaneous tab function right here. And under the time settings, there's this little knob called shift, and what this does Pulls the hi-hat off grid just a tad bit so it kind of adds like some swing to it and just makes the bounce a little better and then also we're going to go into the piano roll delete most of these and we're going to have the velocity go down like this a little bit get that over a bunch All right, and then before we do any rolls, what I'm gonna do is go grab an 808. So I'm gonna be using this one. I'm gonna be using this 808 for my kit called Death Race. And we're gonna right click, cut itself. And then I'm gonna go into this tab right here. We're gonna bring up this knob just to get rid of that kick. And then in the envelope settings, we're gonna make the hold all the way up, the release all the way down, and the attack just a tad bit up. So now the 808 sounds like this. And then I'm gonna track this out to six. And we're just gonna turn this up. And then what I'm gonna do is just go into the audio editor on the bass again so we can see the chord progression. So it's G, B, A, F sharp, G, B, A, F sharp. E, B, A. We're actually gonna bring that hi-hat back up a little bit, but we're gonna go into these settings right here and bring the out knob up a lot. All right, now we're gonna start doing some rolls. This is pretty much the whole beat right here. So what we're gonna do here is uh, go to the channel, right click, split by channel, literally three drums. Are you kidding me? Look at that. And then um, I'm just gonna arrange this right now. Alright guys, so that's the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed this one. I hope you thought the beat turned out cool. And I hope you guys learned something. If you did, make sure you guys go down, hit that like button, and leave a comment for what you guys want to see for the next video. Anyways, like I said, that's all I got right now. If you guys want any of the sounds or any of the vocal presets I used in this video, you already know where to go. Quindababa.com. The link is always available in the description below. As for right now, that's all I got for you guys. Stay tuned for the next videos because it seems like this laptop is performing like a beast. So things are just going to get better from here. Let's get into it. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.